Taiwan is the only democracy in the Chinese-speaking world. On Saturday, voters will choose a new president and legislature. Here are the five things to know. This is an election that China is watching closely. It claims Taiwan as part of its territory, even though both sides split in a civil war 65 years ago, and so is sensitive to political changes. There are three candidates in this race. Tsai Ing-wen, the candidate for the opposition Democratic Progressive Party, is leading in the polls. The party opposes reunification with China. Eric Chu, chairman of the ruling Chinese Nationalist Party, is a rising political star. His party is in favor of closer political ties with China. James Sung of the People's First Party, which also supports reunification, is running for president for the third time. If the opposing DPP returns to power, analysts say cross trade relations could face strong headwinds in the next four years. Beijing has already warned it will not tolerate any move toward Taiwan's formal independence. However, surveys have shown that more and more Taiwanese do not identify themselves as Chinese and would not accept a reunion with the mainland. Saturday's race will be mainly centered on domestic issues instead of cross-strait ties. This is the first presidential election after the massive student movement in 2014, where protesters said closer ties with China aren't improving Taiwan's living standards. As Taiwan's economy is slowing, many voters are basing their choices on the candidate's ability to create jobs, improve wages, and stimulate the country's exports. On Saturday, voters will also be choosing their local lawmakers. Polls shows the ruling Nationalist Party could lose its legislative majority for the first time in Taiwan history. This year has the highest number of candidates. More than 550 candidates will be contesting for 113 seats. There are six openly gay candidates, a heavy metal rocker and Wu Kaixi, a Chinese exile activist and student leader during the Tiananmen Square incident. The election results will be announced on Saturday and the new president will be sworn in in mid-May.